So welcome to Gainsborough. Um, could you tell the supporters a little about Leeson at the man as a player and since as a manager? Um, as a player, I had a 19-year career. Uh, you know, I was very fortunate to, uh, you know, to have a career that long. Thoroughly really enjoyed it. Um, played in all four divisions. As a manager, uh, when I retired in 2000, I um, started at Fars in 2003 actually. I worked in Leeds Academy and the Community Scheme for three years and then started at uh, Farsley in 2003. Had a, you know, a very enjoyable four years uh, with some success. Uh, moved on to Port Vale and uh, it, was an, you know, it was a learning curve, an interesting learning curve and uh, it didn't work out, which things happen like that in football, uh, you know, but it uh, you know, didn't put me off or anything like that. Um, yeah. Then joined Bradford Park Avenue and I was only there for a short time, but uh, the seeds, uh, you know, the, the the roots were set, and yep. uh, you know, a couple of years, uh, seasons later, they uh, they got promoted under uh, a good friend of mine, John Deasy, mm. uh, which then um, I moved on to Altrincham, and yep. uh, they'd just been relegated out of the Conference National. Um, yeah. So, so, well, my next question is on that. So you had a five-year project at Altrincham yep. after the relegation from Conference Premier. So. Again, how do you reflect on your time there? Just just tell us a bit more about that. Very enjoyable. Um, yeah. I'd had a break, like I'd had a break uh, before joining Gainsborough. So, uh, you know, that's not something that, that I find an issue with. Mm. Um, and I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, it, <clears throat> to take over a club that's just been relegated, you know, they, and of course, you know, Altrincham has got a very good name in the non-league football circles, haven't they? Because most, you yeah. know, because of the, the amount of, uh, you know, cup exploits they've had. Yeah. So um, it was a case of really stabilising, in, in, you know, in the first season. I mean, you know, because people expected, you know, sorry, I do expect a, a lot mm. of them. So, but it was a progression, and I think that's the way I look at myself. Um, teams have always progressed with me, so and I think that's an important factor to have. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so, well, what attracted you then to the manager job at Gainsborough? As I've said uh, um, um, when I was first appointed, that. Um, I've always felt that Gainsborough are a club with with potential. Mm. Um, I mean, the, the crowds this season, you know, of course, we'd like them to be bigger, but I mean, they're still holding up to to a certain degree. Uh, although it's been a, uh, a difficult season, and I think that uh, you know, it's been proved in the past that people will come through the turnstiles. You know, if you get a successful side here, and, yeah, uh, absolutely, and a, a side that plays attractive football as well. Mm. Okay, well. So, will you be working alone, or are you bringing an assistant coach and a, and a team to work alongside you? I will be bringing in an assistant manager. Yeah, mm, as yeah. we stand at the moment, I mean, it's all been extremely yeah, quick very... in the way things have developed. Um, I mean, I was only here yesterday, uh, yesterday tea time for, hmm. for the interview, and uh, th- that is that is uh, that is being worked on. Yes, okay. I am talking to somebody. But yeah, obviously, I can't say at this mm. stage yeah until that uh, you know that, that, that it's definitely over the line but hi- hopefully yep. hopefully and we're, we're talking Tuesday evening now that that, that will maybe be able to uh, be announced tomorrow on Wednesday brilliant okay so well you've come in with um, 17th to 23rd separated by three points mm-hmm. with three ga- away games to start for you yeah. so um, I mean it probably couldn't get much tougher could it we've got Chorley Curzon FC United we've beaten them 1-0 at home uh, what do you hope for from those three games? What we're looking at, I mean, the stats don't lie, do they? I mean, we, we, mm. we're going to have to be harder to beat when we go away from home. That that, that is obvious. Uh, we have to uh, we have to tighten up. You know, three wins, one nil wins is great at home, but yeah, you know, if you look at the games that we've got left, you can't just rely on the points that you're going to get at home. You you got to be picking points up away as well. I mean, I know in my mind what I think the point, you know. Uh, Point total will need to be yeah, okay. to be uh, operating in this division next year. So uh, um, it's you know it's 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 a big challenge. Yeah, of course it is, but it's a big challenge for everybody. But in saying that, I mean, you, you mentioned about three points, seventeen to twenty third. But if you go up to twelve, hmm. that's six points. Yeah, so brilliant. I'd rather look at it that way yeah. rather than looking uh, the opposite way. So. Excellent. So, well, you've got a couple of training sessions before your mm-hmm. first game on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, so, what will be the focus? Evaluating the players, talking to people, um, of, of what the team has been about. I mean, they, they've had eyes on it all season. You know, mm. I haven't. So I'm a quick learner in that aspect, and just observing the players. I mean, the, the big thing for me is is for them to work hard, for them to enjoy themselves, yeah, and, and to apply themselves. And it, it changes from no club. You know, all clubs are the same. And, and if you have those, then for me, mm. 
you get the belief. Once you get the belief, you get better performances. Better performances will bring better points. Brilliant. So what are your objectives coming into the club? I mean, that's quite broad, but do you right. have any currently? I mean, you've just come in as well. Mm -hmm. Is there? Have you given much thought to it yet? As in the future? Yeah, I mean, uh, short, medium, long, if you've got anything currently or something that you're going to set during the next couple of weeks. Um, short term is like I mentioned, you know, getting that belief into the players, getting that because, you know, when, when you're in a situation, it can be a little bit, you know, on your shoulders. Now, it's my job to, to make sure that's not the case so they can perform to their, their best ability individually mm. and collectively. Um, obviously, to, to, to be picking up points, you're right, it is a hard start, but that, that for me is for something to be embraced, not, not something to run away from. Excellent. Um, you know, and it, it's a bit different this year, that, like I mentioned, six points up to 12, so 12 can't feel that comfortable. No. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot of teams in the same boat, and we, you, you have to remember. Brilliant. All right, so just final two questions. Um, firstly, how do you like to your, your teams to play, and do you have a philosophy at all? Um, philosophy and the way I like teams to play quite combined in a way I want to enjoy watching what I coach yeah. Yeah? I want to yeah. enjoy watching that football because you know I can appreciate where the supporters are coming from mm. um, I like to pass the ball you know we're on a short time scale let's not, let's not kid ourselves we've got two months yeah? we've got 12 games 12, 13 games so you know it, it's, it's kind of really condensing everything into short space time we haven't got a close season we've got pre-season mm. but what I want to uh, bring to the club in the future, yeah, is obviously that passing game where where, where, the, where the supporters enjoy watching the football. But of course, yeah, that brings points as well. Okay, and finally, what message would you like to send out to the Trinity faithful? To the Trinity faithful, um, it's my first day in charge today. All right, thank you for the support. Obviously, as the season's reached this point, but for the next two months, it's going to be more critical and more crucial. Yeah, than it has been before and uh, supporters always play a big part supporters play a big part in whether um, in a way a player feels wanted in a way a player feels comfortable in a way if he feels confident as well so they they have a big part to play and uh, if we can marry those two together yeah we'll be a stronger outfit okay brilliant well thank you for your time mm -hmm. all the best for the season and we look forward to watching you till the end of the season thank you very much thank you